Hello everyone, it's Dazran Trio Tree and welcome back to another Q&A Friday folks. I've got some gun variety in this one, I'm using the Type 25, so sit back and relax. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. This is of course Q&A Friday and all, like always in all the other previous episodes, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below with a question and it may feature in the next Q&A Friday. So that's how it's working. Um, so let's go ahead and get on to your questions here. I've got a, quite a few of them picked out this week. Um, so I'm not going to read out the names as always, I'm just going to read out the questions. So are you getting a PS4? Uh, short answer, no. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm saying no as in I hate Sony, no. But um, no, I, I, I have enough things that are keeping me very interested in the Nintendo Wii U at the moment. So I think uh, I don't have a lot of money to throw around, so I am not a, the kind of person to buy... Uh, every console that is out. I've never owned like say when the Wii was out I didn't also have an Xbox 360 or a PS3 so um, I will make the most of the console that I have and I have chosen the Wii U and I'm gonna stick with it so uh, a lot of games coming out uh, that I'm really interested in. I've already poured 300 hours into a game called Monster Hunter so uh, there's a lot keeping me very entertained on the Wii U and I do have the 3DS as well so enough there to keep me going. Thanks for your question. Um, another question here. What if Nintendo fails in sales and get broke? What would you do? Well, um, if it was a scenario to say like Nintendo pulled out of the console race, that would be really, I'd be re that would be a very sad day for me anyway. It'd be a very sad day. But um, you know, I, I'm still gonna like I've I've read a lot of articles and so on that's going around the internet at the moment about like um, the Wii U is failing and sales are down, even though sales are climbing up again with the release of Monster Hunter and so on but um, no it's it's not something that would uh, change my mind on how much I like a console if sales are poor it's always it's really frustrating being a Nintendo follower because the Nintendo consoles always struggle I mean the news about Black Ops not coming out for the Nintendo Wii U is just more fuel to that fire that um, that just annoys everyone like um, Nintendo seems to be very poor at keeping these business partnerships going like I don't know why Battlefield is not coming out on the Wii U uh, it doesn't make sense for a new console to come out and just to have no support from the get-go it doesn't I don't I don't know but uh, still gonna stick with it though uh, a couple of games that have been coming out and are soon to come out that I'm really interested in so um, despite Battlefield not coming out um, well I, I don't know I really don't know if I want to play Battlefield that badly I can always download it on something like Steam on my computer. I've got a very powerful computer here, so uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We will see. But uh, I'll be sticking with with them anyway. True tick and tin. <laughs> Seems to be more tin than tick, really. Anyway, do you have any favorite TV show? Lately, uh, in the last couple of months, Lil Landy has really gotten me into Star Trek. We first started off with Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, then we watched Star Trek Voyager. And we're in the middle of watching Star Trek The Next Generation with Patrick Stewart as the captain. Yes, number one. Make it so. <laughs> it's really good. I like Star Trek. I really enjoy that. I, I, also, I also like Friends as well. Uh, we have the box set of Friends. I do like to watch uh, feel-good stuff uh, if I'm watching any kind of TV show at all. So uh, Quantum Leap would be another one, a TV show. Quantum Leap, if you've never heard of that, you should check it out. It's really good. Um, okay, moving on. What is your favorite food and drink? Uh, my favorite food would definitely be Mexican food. Enchiladas or fajitas. Absolutely love them. Um, I think it was only last week we had enchiladas. They're just amazing. Lil Andy makes really amazing enchiladas. So does her uh, sister. Uh, we go over there for dinner uh, quite often. Mad Mike's wife. And she makes amazing enchiladas and food in general. So, um, yeah, Mexican food and drink would have to be Monster. Now, I haven't drank Monster in a while. I've kind of uh, tried to stop drinking it. But when I do drink it, it's amazing. I love Monster. Monster is a fabulous drink. The green one. The green original Monster. Um, have you ever had an iPod, iPad or iPhone? No, I've never had any of those things. Uh, the devices I have for MP3s and a tablet, I suppose, is Samsung. I have all Samsung products. I've never once kind of, well, as I just said, I never once got an iPad or iPhone. No, no Apple products for me. Thank you. <laughs> what was your first job and what was your He's first gone. car? Now, I don't drive. In real life, I do not drive any kind of car. Uh, I've never learned to drive. Um, and Well, I think it's kind of... 
Uh, more so to do with uh, the fact that I suffer with anxiety. I've kind of stepped away from uh, wanting to drive cars and so on. Uh, everything that I need to get to is within walking distance, and I do have a bike I can cycle, but uh, I don't really go on too many long journey, long distance travels, so like it's it's not it's pointless for me to have a car. It's very expensive to keep one. Um, but my first job was I worked in an airport. Uh, I was cleaning, cleaning floors and maintaining the the airport. Uh, not the whole airport on my own, but you know, part of a team uh, working in front of the public. Uh, where where I used to work in the airport that's close to me, uh, we used to have a lot of U.S. soldiers come in because uh, they were using uh, over here in Ireland as a stop off point to refuel and so on. So uh, a lot of U.S. soldiers used to fly in here. And I used to get the question asked every day of, where can I smoke? Is there a smoking area? No, there's not. Just go into the bathroom. <laughs> Do what you want. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, moving on to another one. Least favorite video game genre. Um, it's it's one of my... It can be a good one, but it's, it's also very terrible. Uh, party games. That party genre. Uh, when done right, they can be really good games, such as Mario Party, and I really enjoyed Wii Party. There's a couple other party games I haven't mentioned, but uh, more often than not, it's just used for like easy cash-ins on games, like um, really poor party games uh, that just flood the... I think they're called shovelware, people call them shovelware. I call them shit. <laughs> uh, rubbish games, yeah, party games seem to be the... Uh, a big offender in that area, so yeah, I'd say party games would be my least favorite just because of that fact. Uh, moving on, are you going to buy Injustice: Gods Among Us for the Nintendo Wii U? Um, I probably won't. I've seen uh, one of my friends, BD Cool Two One Three. He's doing videos of that. If you want to check him out, uh, there should be a link on my channel page. Uh, he's one of my uh, uh, YouTube family guys, so check him out. Um, he is doing uh, Injustice Gods Among Us, but it wouldn't really be for me. Uh, I have Tekken for fighting, and I'm looking forward to starting to play Tekken again. But uh, I really am not too interested in the Batman universe, I have to say. How much hate am I going to get for that now? I was more of a Spider-Man guy. But uh, yeah, Batman? No, I don't know. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure. My, Mad Mike City might get it, so if I go over and play it a couple of times, maybe it'll grow on me. But uh, no plans to get it at the moment. Okay. Uh, what changes to the Zelda franchise would you like to see in Zelda Wii U? If I could change one thing about Zelda, I always felt kind of empty when you beat the game. Like you beat the game and you know you get the cutscene and everyone's having a party or sometimes whatever happens at the end of whichever Zelda you play. Um, but when you beat the game and then you load up the save file again and go back to play it, it's like the world is still the same. You never beat the game. You have to go and beat the boss for everyone to be happy. I would like to see if you did beat the game that you could go around the villages and towns and talk to people about, you know, and see how they progressed from, uh, you know, Ganondorf or the evil that is in the game being um, halted or put to a stop. You could walk around and talk to people and. Uh, you know, something different happen after you beat the game. I would love to see that, personally, but um, it would also have to be accessible so you could go in and do all the boss battles again. I think they should have an option then where you wouldn't necessarily have to go all the way up to Ganon to fight him again. You could just select out of a menu all the boss battles that you previously had after you beat it. That would be cool. But, um, yeah, that's one thing I would change. It's like something else happen after you beat the game. Something new. Something like uh, where you could interact with some of the characters, they have new daily routines and so on. Like in Majora's Mask, they used to have routines for that particular day if you've ever played that game. Uh, I won't get too much into it because maybe some of you guys never played Majora's Mask, I don't know. But that's just my thoughts on it. If I could change something, that's something I would look into changing. Just for a bit of... Just for LOLZ. <laughs> uh, have you got all the silver and gold keys in Go Vacation? No, I do not. But... um. I'm still working on it. Uh, the series will be continuing with episode 60 very soon. And the series won't stop until I have every gold and silver key. So expect loads of gold vacations to still come out. Uh, I, still, I, haven't, I haven't actually recorded any new ones yet. But uh, Nilandi is going back to work very soon. So I can resume doing YouTube full on. That means Call of Duty, Tekken, more Monster Hunter, Go Vacation, all that stuff. Uh, moving on. Why did you stop the Super Mario World LP and the Go Vacation LP for a period of time? And you, sir, are talking about the Dazzle and Tree Tree LP channel. Uh, I kind of, it kind of dawned on me that you know maybe I shouldn't have created the channel. Uh, I did create the channel, however, out of this idea of what I had of my main channel. My main channel was uh, it always seemed to be Call of Duty. 
And as much as I love Call of Duty, I always wanted to do, you know, any game I wanted to, but I could, I never felt like I could. Like, sh if I shared a game, uh, people would give out to me for not doing Call of Duty. So I made a second channel, and I realized my error, and I have now moved over all projects uh, to my main channel. All right, we have time for one more uh, comment question here. Comes in from that gamer four five six, and he says, "I made a video for you. Can you check it out on my channel?" And I did that gamer four five six, and it was really nice. Thank you very much for making that video. And for anyone watching this Q and A, please go over to that gamer four five six and check out his his video that he made for me. It was like a, it was like a I don't know. Thanks, Desmond, for making videos. I thought it was really nice. I, I love when people do that kind of stuff. It really makes me feel good about what I'm doing here on YouTube. But um. That is another Q&A Friday. I hope you did enjoy. Remember to leave your questions in the comment section below and I will get to them next week. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yeah, whatever. <laughs>